All right, so in my previous tutorials, I've taught you how you can actually create an African folktale story, how you can derive images, the best prompt to use, how you can transform it from the normal size it is to a landscape, and so many others. So, so this tutorial now is going to be on how we can edit our voiceover. All right, so we're just going to get started. But before we continue, I'd like you guys to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification, and also do well to like this video. If you're also having issues about creating your African folk stories, you can do well to reach me out, and then I'm going to be helping you. Just move over to the comment section and drop your question. Or if you'd like me to make a video concerning what you really need, concerning your African folk stories, you can also drop it in the comment section. All right, so do not forget to turn on your notification because I'm going to be making more and more interesting videos on how you can actually grow not only just from African folk stories, but from other amazing websites or applications. All right, guys, so we are just going to get started. All right, so you're just going to open your Google and then you search for audio mass. Now we are going to be using audio mass to edit our voiceovers all right so when you open this by now you should be having your record already now for your african folk stories it is not advisable to use ai it is always better if you record your voice yourself now how can you do that you can actually move over to your phone and then you can use in shots to record your voice now when record your voice now if you are using your phone you have to put it close to your mouth and also when you are using a mic, you also need to put it close to your mouth. Now, there's actually a difference between taking the mic far from your mouth and close to your mouth. All right. So when you're recording it, which you're, it's advisable to use your own voice, you need to put the mic close to your mouth. And then when you're done with that, you export it, and then you are going to be importing it into audio mass. So you can do well to record it on your phone and send it to your laptop, or you can actually search for audio mass on your phone in the chrome browser and then you can continue so we are just going to be importing this you move over to your file here and then you see load from computer so when you've imported it it's now going to be looking like this so this is actually the l and the r so now when editing it you can come over to effects now this is where the edit starts and then you are going to be starting with noise reduction now you click on noise reduction and then it's actually going to be having effect on it first. So the more you actually apply some effect to it, the more this actually reduces or increases. Now, let me apply an effect. The most important one to add is actually the noise reduction, the compressor, the graphic EQ, and the normalize. All right. So this compressor, now I want to add it. I'll just click on it. This comes up. So I can decide to leave it the way it is like this and just simply click on apply. It's going to apply it you see this now that's actually reduced this so now when i'm playing this it's actually hey, all right so this is just how you can actually edit your voiceover for your african folk those stories so remember when you import it come over to effects here and you can add any of this so whichever one you add if you feel it's okay because it can actually differ because of different voices we have so it all depends on how you want to edit or add effects to your voiceover so when you're done with this you come over to your file and then you can now export or download this is it right here so when you click on this you've exported it and then you can now insert it into your cap code and then derive your images and go ahead with that all right so that is just all the process on how we can actually edit our voiceover for our africa folktale story all right guys so this is just all i want to be sharing with you guys on how you can edit your voiceover do not forget please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification and do not forget to hit the like this is just to show how you guys appreciate the videos i'm making for you all all right guys so for those of you that are actually find it difficult on how to create an african folk stories you can do well to check out my next video in my next video, I'm going to be taking you through step by step on how you can actually create an African folk stories from start to finish. All right, guys. So this is just all we're going to take in. Do not forget hit the subscribe button, turn on notification, and then I'll see you in the next video. And do not forget if you actually find it difficult to do something in African folk stories or you have any question, do well to drop it in the comment section. And my rest videos about African folk stories, I'm also going to be dropping it in the description below. 
Alright guys, see you guys in the next tutorial.